I myself came from a really poor family with my mom who solely endured everything just to support and provide for us. My graduation day was the greatest payback as I formally received my Latin honors. I want every poor child to experience such things with proper knowledge of things around you, of your purpose in life, and of what you are fighting for. You are going beyond being educated. You become empowered and able to empower others. I am Rabia Oxenio Mateo, 23, your Miss Universe Philippines, Iloilo City. Miss Iloilo City, Rabia Mateo, an Ilonga Indian biracial beauty. She grew up in a poor and broken family. Through her mom, she learned the values of forgiveness and hope. She loves their local phrase, Basta Ilonga Guava, because she truly is beautiful inside and out. Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. <laughs> Hello, good morning. I am Rabia Oxanya Mateo, 23, representing the city of Love, Iliilo. I am biracial. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did introduce myself. Na. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, 30 seconds long. Give an introduction. Tell us something about yourself. I'm actually biracial. My mom is an Ilonga and my dad is an Indian, if you can see through my features. However, I was raised in a broken family and uh, I experienced a really poor life. And uh, I was able to rise from our situation as well because of educating, pe because of educating myself. And now, I decided to go give back to my community and uh, I became a lecturer for physical therapy. That's why I was able to Go Time. to. What is one beautiful word in a local language and what does it mean? One beautiful word would probably guapa, which means beautiful. I feel like we have this um, statement in Iliilo, basta ilonga guapa, which means every ilonga is beautiful. And I'm very proud that um, with Miss Universe Philippines, I was able to bring that kind of aspect that every Filipino would know that statement, basta ilonga guapa. I have a question. So, what is that uh, one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? If there would be one thing that I learned through my mother, that would be always forgive people. Because there's no such thing as a perfect person. And when my dad left us, she never speak ill about him. That's why in every situation, even though other people would hurt me, I still choose to see the goodness in them. What, what about in this pandemic? What is the most important lesson that you learned? You know what? Even though you're struggling, you can still become the symbol of hope. I myself, um, I had fears, uncertainty, but I still 
um, realized that I could still give back to Iloilo City. Out of my pocket, I decided to cook for the frontliners. And I know that's just a simple way, but that's my best way to help our modern heroes. You win the crown. How uh, will you help your community? Well, you mentioned that, but are there other things that you plan to do when you win the crown? Being a Miss Universe, you become influential. So I want to go back to my advocacy, which is Feed Me and I Read Your Program, which we help those children living near the dump site. If you have seen my Beyond the Coastline video, I want to go back there. And we need a lot of materials, learning materials. And I feel like being a Miss Universe, I will be able to pull donors into our project to make it foster even better. What's the name of the program? Again? Feed Me and I Read Your Program. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? I feel that a phenomenal woman is red because red is power and I am red. Um, work from home is not a norm. So what do you think are the skills needed to this uh, future workspace or a uh, future works, workplace of the future? Sorry. As of the moment, I am working from home because we don't have classes, um, live classroom classes. That's why we decided to conduct our lectures online. I feel like nowadays we need to adopt to the situation. So um, we need to be versatile in what is happening around us. And online business or uh, working from home is such a huge opportunity for us to spend more time with our family and as well um, trying to enjoy the life. If, if you can name one spot man-made or natural in your uh, in Iloilo City, what would it be? I would definitely want to bring all of you to Haro Cathedral because you know what, in Iloilo we don't have much of natural spots but Haro Cathedral is like an establishment that witnessed the love and devotion that Ilongas have towards God and I feel like it's been there since the Spanish era so with timeless memories and modernization we were able to you know arrive to be the longest that we are today. There's a campaign that's hashtag Love Local. So if it were up to you, which local product do you want to promote and why? You know what? It was also asked to me during Miss Iloilo, and I want to bring to the global community our very own hablon, that is our indigenous fabric. And I feel like, you know, it enriches the culture of not just Iloilo, but of our country. Every time I wear Hablon, I don't just wear Iloilo, but I wear Philippines. Last question. What is one thing young people like you should focus on? <laughs> you need to invest in yourself. As of the moment, there's a lot of destructions. There's a lot of bashers or backlash. But at the end of the day, when you practice self-love, you get to know the right weapon in order for you to win life. And I feel like right now, I am ripe enough to win the competition because I've done everything that I could to transform to become a phenomenal woman that I am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you po. Actually, at first, I was kind of hesitant because you need 30 seconds to answer one question. But in the end, I was able to gain that momentum. And I feel like up until now, there's so much energy in me. From this batch from Ilo Ilo City. Rabia Mateo. Congratulations. Next up we have, all right, now we have Miss Iloilo City, Miss uh, Rabia Mateo. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I'm one step closer from having my first national crown. Well, you are actually. You are in the top 16. So let's see how it goes with this, um, this comment here. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have that comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I, wanna, uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heartfelt beauty.
Thank you very much, Miss Ula City, Rabia Mateo. All right, next. Next up, Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. Rabia Mateo, Ilo Ilo City. City, Rabia Mateo. Congratulations, and now it is time for us to find our final contender in our team. Good evening. Good evening, Casey. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> for everybody. Okay. <laughs> So I will ask you two questions. You are okay. able to choose a number backstage. After you uh, talk for 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask another question where you receive another 30 seconds. Okay. Clear? Yes. All right, here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Ilu Ilu City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Well said, Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. We remind you that in case the winner fails to fulfill her duties and obligations, the first runner-up will take over as Miss Universe Philippines. I will announce the name of the winner first. That means the other contender is our first runner-up. Ladies, take a deep breath. It is time for the moment of truth. Miss Universe Philippines 2020 is...
Buhay ang Miss Universe Philippines organization, to our judges, sponsors, and to all of our phenomenal delegates, our most heartfelt appreciation for all of the support and participation in this year's pageant, Miss Universe Philippines 2020.